Northern Burrows is a popular and beautiful spot to walk the dog. But it appears that for some owners, the desire to let their animal off the lead results in a tragic outcome. Farmer Peter Withercombe grazes his sheep here, but has had more than 20 animals killed by dogs in the past two years. A young lamb doesn't stand any chance at all with a dog. It's, it's got nowhere to go and a dog just, just pounds straight on it. It's, it's, it's killed instantly. Torridge District Council says that allowing a dog to chase livestock, even in an apparently playful manner, can lead to serious distress and injury. It's also a criminal offence and the authority is now in discussion with local police to find a way of cracking down on offenders. Irresponsibility must stop. We've got horses as well that have been worried and chased by dogs and it's got to such a level that serious action must be forthcoming. Dog walkers using the burrows today were very much aware of the dangers. If we see sheep or horses, we go the opposite way. So make sure they don't worry any animals or anybody else. We had a snouter years ago that was uh, used to go after sheep, so we're well aware of keeping them under control, you know. The problem's got so bad that a local youth group has made signs to warn people to control their dogs. The number of deaths and injuries is constantly being updated. The senior warden is urging anyone who witnesses an attack to come forward. It's getting days, dates, it's accurate information, uh, type of dog, who it was with, and if there's a car, if you can get an accurate registration number. If you give that to us, we work very closely with the police and then we can do something about it. The authority doesn't want to ban dogs from this area, but will now be actively targeting what it says are the minority of dog owners who allow their animals to maim and kill. Seth Colwyn, Northern Burrows for the West Country tonight.